Tesla has recently confirmed two significant announcements regarding its highly anticipated affordable electric vehicle, which has been the subject of much speculation and excitement among EV enthusiasts and the general public alike. Firstly, Tesla has officially listed the budget-friendly model on its website, though the company has clarified that it will not be named Model Q as some rumors suggested. Instead, the vehicle remains referred to simply as the affordable model, a placeholder title until the official name is finalized. Secondly, in alignment with earlier predictions, Tesla is expected to commence pre-orders for this affordable model, tentatively called Model 2, with an introductory price point of $15,990 for the base version. This price is remarkably low by Tesla standards and the broader EV market, which usually sees prices significantly higher. For those interested in a longer-range version of the vehicle with enhanced power and performance, the cost will naturally be a bit higher but, according to Elon Musk's earlier statements, all variants of the Model 2 will remain below the $20,000 threshold. However, it's important to note that consumers will not be able to place orders immediately. The pre-order window is slated to open on November 6, and this initial round will be limited to approximately 10,000 units, a figure that Tesla has already confirmed. Moreover, the pre-order process will not be open to everyone indiscriminately, rather, it will be subject to specific eligibility criteria set forth by Tesla, including geographic region, income level, and other basic conditions designed to ensure that the vehicle reaches its intended audience. According to information from insiders, once the pre-order limit of 10,000 units is reached, the portal will close abruptly, without prior notice, emphasizing the need for interested buyers to act swiftly when the window opens. So how exactly will this pre-order system function, and what does the Model 2, the new affordable Tesla, look like both inside and out? Welcome to Tesla Car World, where we explore truths about Tesla that are often overlooked or misunderstood. One undeniable fact remains, despite advances in electric vehicle technology, truly affordable EVs have yet to dominate the mass market in a meaningful way. This failure, in our opinion, stems largely from the absence of convincing proof that mainstream consumers can realistically acquire an EV that is not only affordable but also reliable and capable enough to fully replace their traditional gasoline-powered cars. The majority of consumers simply will not pay $40,000 for an electric car that offers only limited driving range and lacks essential modern technology. While tech enthusiasts and those with larger budgets might still be interested at that price, for the everyday buyer, such an investment is impractical. Recently, various videos and reports have surfaced, continually updating the public on new, sometimes shocking details about the Model 2. Some sources have suggested a starting price even below $15,000, and a few bold claims have gone so far as to suggest a price point as low as $10,000. Live streams and leaked footage hint that Tesla might produce the Model 2 at the Fremont factory, utilizing the new Gen 3 platform engineered to drastically reduce production costs. Tesla has also released videos that confirm at least two Model 2 prototypes are currently undergoing testing in Texas, solidifying the rumor that the starting price after incentives will indeed be around $15,990. However, it is crucial to remember that, affordable, does not equate to, low quality. Reputable media outlets and internal Tesla sources report that the first batch of Model 2 vehicles has already entered production, with the initial batch comprising roughly 10,000 units expected to be unveiled at Tesla's forthcoming event in November. The announcement has sent waves through the automotive industry, not only because of the astonishing price but also because of the impressive specifications promised by Tesla. This development is significant not just due to the price tag but because it marks a strategic pivot for Tesla, shifting the company's focus from premium electric vehicles toward more affordable EVs and autonomous cars that appeal to a broader market. For comparison, other affordable electric vehicles like the Chevrolet Bolt and Nissan Leaf have received favorable reviews in their price segments, but they have yet to make a disruptive impact in terms of affordability or technology that could win over the mass market. Even these models, priced around $30,000, remain out of reach for many potential buyers. The Tesla Model 2's standout feature is Elon Musk's repeated promise of a $15,990 price point, or possibly even less, 
coupled with technology and a driving experience on par with Tesla's higher-end models. Musk has mentioned this price publicly at least three times, underscoring the company's commitment to making an affordable Tesla a reality. Naturally, skepticism remains. The idea of a $15,000 Tesla is hard to believe, particularly given Elon Musk's reputation for missing deadlines and adjusting prices. Yet, with the Model 2, there is more cause for optimism than ever before. Much of the core technology powering the Model 2 is borrowed from Tesla's existing models, which helps reduce development costs. This includes everything from the drivetrain and lithium-iron phosphate LFP, batteries to the vehicle's control software and autopilot system. Tesla has also optimized manufacturing by incorporating advanced methods such as the GigaPress system, enabling the company to produce large structural components in-house efficiently and affordably. These innovations collectively allow Tesla to build the Model 2 at a production cost estimated to be around $10,000 while selling it at the advertised $15,990 price, preserving a healthy profit margin due to Tesla's massive production scale. Tesla's prowess in manufacturing, engineering, and artificial intelligence-based software and hardware is unparalleled in the EV industry, affording them an edge in producing most critical components internally rather than relying heavily on external suppliers. This vertical integration plays a vital role in the Model 2's cost efficiency and quality standards. From an engineering standpoint, Tesla has assembled a world-class team of electrical engineers, mechatronics experts, and battery specialists who have been instrumental in achieving these ambitious goals. Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized the caliber of Tesla's engineering teams, which helps explain how the company can design a vehicle like the Model 2 that balances cost-effectiveness with quality. In terms of design, insiders reveal that the Model 2 will not debut as a hatchback, as some previously speculated. Instead, the vehicle is shaping up to be a compact crossover, a design choice that reflects consumer preferences for versatility and practicality. The Model 2's aesthetic is described as clean and minimalist yet distinctly Tesla, characterized by sleek lines, subtle yet modern touches, and an absence of flashy or ostentatious details. This design philosophy embraces simplicity done well, with smooth exterior curves, refined bodywork, and signature Tesla design elements such as a continuous light bar and streamlined wheels. The vehicle size is approximately 20% smaller than the Model 3, underscoring Tesla's commitment to cost efficiency without sacrificing the car's presence or functionality. It will likely feature a traditional four-door layout, eschewing unconventional door designs to keep production costs down. Inside the cabin, Tesla aims to strike a balance between affordability and practicality. The interior will be compact but designed to comfortably accommodate five passengers. While the vehicle won't boast luxury finishes or high-end features, it will maintain basic comfort suitable for daily use. Tesla plans to use cost-effective materials throughout, including for the dashboard, door panels, and smaller functional components. The central touchscreen will be smaller, around 12 inches compared to the 15.4-inch display found in the Model 3, and seats will be non-ventilated, reflecting pragmatic choices designed to keep prices low. These trade-offs may cause some potential customers to feel disappointed by the absence of upscale features, but they are deliberate decisions that make the Model 2 financially accessible to a wider audience. Elon Musk's vision of an affordable EV for the masses hinges on these compromises. The Model 2 is designed not to impress with luxury but to broaden access to electric vehicles. If consumer expectations don't align with this mission, the project's success could be at risk, a concern already echoed in industry reports. Cost-saving measures extend to the vehicle's technological features as well. For instance, the Model 2 is expected to omit rear seat displays, ambient lighting, and many physical buttons, opting instead to control most functions via the central touchscreen. This software-first philosophy not only simplifies production but allows Tesla to deliver continuous over-the-air updates, one of the brand's key advantages over traditional automakers. Technological innovation is not absent, however. 
A notable advancement in the Model 2 is the anticipated introduction of a new 48-volt low-voltage electrical architecture, which Tesla has hinted at for future models. This system promises improved efficiency and could be among the first to debut in the Model 2. Beyond the vehicle itself, Tesla might be on the cusp of a major breakthrough in battery technology, potentially revolutionizing the industry once again. The company's first-generation aluminum-ion battery technology is moving from theoretical stages into real-world testing, an innovation that could dramatically enhance range, charging time, and safety, three factors that are critical to EV adoption. Unlike conventional lithium-ion batteries, aluminum-ion batteries use aluminum ions as charge carriers. Each cell contains a positive aluminum electrode, a negative electrode made from materials like graphene or metal oxides, and a liquid electrolyte facilitating ion flow. The chemistry's significance lies in its potential for higher energy density, since aluminum ions carry a triple positive charge compared to lithium's single charge. This could mean more charge stored per ion, allowing batteries with higher theoretical energy densities without relying on expensive rare earth elements or complex manufacturing processes. If Tesla can successfully scale this technology and integrate it into the Model 2, the concept of long range in EVs could be redefined. Laboratory claims suggest aluminum ion batteries might deliver ranges exceeding 700 miles, and rumors even hint at near 1,000 miles, figures that are revolutionary compared to current lithium-ion cells, which typically offer around 180 to 200 watt-hours per kilogram and produce ranges near 330 miles in vehicles like the Model Y Long Range. By contrast, aluminum-ion's potential energy density is roughly 700 watt-hours per kilogram, which could nearly double the driving range for EVs. This would force regulators, infrastructure planners, and drivers to rethink charging networks and the feasibility of long road trips in electric vehicles. In comparison, budget-friendly Chinese EVs such as the BYD Seagull, which rely on basic lithium iron phosphate (LFP) packs, offer ranges between 180 and 220 miles, highlighting the dramatic gulf aluminum ion technology could bridge. While lithium ion battery improvements have been largely incremental, Aluminum ion represents a possible paradigm shift, though it remains in testing and has yet to enter mass production. Tesla's embrace of LFP batteries for some models stems from their lower cost, safety, and longevity advantages, despite LFP's lower energy density. Typical LFP cells operate between 90 and 205 watt hours per kilogram, which limits range and charging speed, factors that fuel range anxiety among drivers. While LFP's safety and durability make it a sensible choice for cost-conscious models, the trade-offs impact daily usability, particularly for longer trips where charging times increase and convenience decreases. The fear of running out of charge and facing long waits at charging stations is a very real concern for potential buyers, influencing purchasing decisions. Tesla's challenge is balancing cost savings from LFP batteries against consumer expectations for range, charging speed, and safety. The potential introduction of aluminum ion cells could erase these anxieties if Tesla can prove the technology's longevity, safety, and scalability in real-world conditions. Safety concerns also play a pivotal role in battery chemistry decisions. LFP cells have earned praise for structural stability and lower fire risk compared with some lithium-based chemistries, making them popular in utilities and budget vehicles. However, even rare incidents of thermal runaway have a lasting impact on public perception. Advocates for aluminum ion batteries claim reduced flammability risks, but this remains to be conclusively demonstrated in large-scale use. Without proven safety, a battery promising longer range but new failure modes might increase consumer anxiety rather than alleviate it. The battery choice is not just a technical or financial matter but a strategic one that shapes product perception and market acceptance. Tesla's 53 kWh battery pack and 250-mile range baseline for the Model 2 provide a realistic anchor for now, expected to come in both single and dual-motor configurations with a lightweight build. Should aluminum ion technology deliver on its promise of ranges between 600 and 700 miles, the Model 2 would transcend from affordable fantasy to disruptive reality, 
fundamentally altering driver expectations and EV market dynamics. However, Tesla must carefully communicate its battery strategy and range benchmarks to avoid disappointing early adopters, whose feedback will significantly influence the product's reputation. The electric vehicle industry as a whole is racing to develop fast-charging chemistries including sodium ion, semi-solid batteries, and improved nickel cells. Tesla's strategic choice will be whether to prioritize immediate cost savings with LFP or invest in the riskier but potentially transformative aluminum ion technology. Given that batteries constitute 30 to 40 percent of an EV's total cost, this decision carries enormous financial implications. Ultimately, the question Tesla, and consumers, must grapple with is what matters most in an affordable EV like the Model 2, safety or driving range? We invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching this detailed update on Tesla's affordable electric vehicle journey. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to catch our next breaking Tesla news, coming in just two days. Don't forget to like and share if you found this information useful, and stay tuned for more exciting insights into Tesla EVs and Tesla bot technology. We appreciate your support and look forward to connecting with you in the next video. Goodbye.